right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units to 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. How many are in there? Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. To... Chance, copper. You get closer. We'll cut you in half. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Stay down. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. 
Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Why, you! Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell! Jesus, gun! Watch your fire! Don't want to do this, Wendell! Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Apologize immediately! Stay the hell away from me! Be kidding. You fucking asked for it. There's no way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Come on then, pretty boy. Give it up, Wendell! Wendell, your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight, a crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Okay. 
cases. This is like 32s. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. I want to see. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Don't you people have anything better to do? You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Uh, can I... I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu, he runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. 
Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. You know the way. We can drive. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. You're behind the wheel. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Kalu! Get back here! If you get him, give him one for me. Would you recommend the special? This is a busy street, okay? Too late, Kalu. Damn these modern times. My wife is so dumb. She scares it only. Stop, or I will shoot. Edgar Kalu. You're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. 
God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. But Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. 